Hi there. Um, I am going to talk to you today about this uh, old late 2010 MacBook Air 13 inch that I'm having problems with. And from doing some Googling, I'm not the only one. Um, this particular machine is from, like I said, from 2010. It's a 1.86 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo um, with two gigabytes of RAM. So it's old, it's small, it's kind of slow. Um, I'm just going to close that for now. So this particular machine, um, it works okay. I use it for taking notes in class. Um, nothing spectacular, none of my ma regular day-to-day -day business. Um, see, MacBook Air. Uh, I think this particular machine has had a spill on the power button. So if you are not holding down the F7 key, <clears throat> this machine gets a pop-up asking if you want to shut down your Mac and it will come up every four seconds. Um, for whatever reason, depressing the F7 key makes it think that that key is in operation. Um, it's a rewind button or fast forward button for a CD that this machine doesn't have because it's an air. So it really, as far as I can tell that that button doesn't really do a whole lot. <clears throat> so let me show you. Right now I have the key depressed and everything, you know, it works as normal. You know, all my things, things load. Um, I have no problems with it. I use it. It's pretty reliable. It doesn't overheat. Battery charges. Trackpad works. Everything is cool. If the F7 key is no longer depressed. See? It's not depressed. Very soon. Oh, my hand's on the trackpad. That's why. We will get a pop-up right now that says are you sure you want to shut down your computer now and if I you don't do anything this will shut down so if you hit cancel you have about four seconds to do some more work before it pops up again so it's not really practical to be constantly hitting your pop-up button nor is it particularly practical to be Oh, maybe it's like, oh, that's because I'm, it. and if you do this, that defeats it too. It won't pop up as long as it thinks it's doing something. So the trick here is to make your computer think it's always doing something. I'm gonna let that pop up again. So we press down the F7 key. So what I have discovered is I took a little wedge of plastic. See, really teeny tiny. Kind of blends in with my counter. Um, it's actually a piece of a handy-dandy haagen lid that I just kind of cut. Um, and I wedged this into the back of the F7 key. So hang on, I'm going to try and prop up my phone here. And see if I can get this to record without falling over. Sorry. My videography skills aren't the best. So I'm going to take a pair of tweezers and pick up the little wedge. See the little wedge on the tweezers? See? And just take some fiddling. There. So now you can see I've got the little teeny piece of plastic wedged in the back of the key. Why is my phone not focusing? There. There's a little piece of plastic wedged in the back of the key. Which, in the way that you tell from the angle, is actually holding, doing the same function as me holding my finger on that button. It's wedged it down. <clears throat> which is stopping our pop-up message. 
and the computer works completely normally. Now, this is some backup of a backup computer for me, and it is only two gigabytes, and it's sort of at the end of its life anyway. Um, this probably isn't something that I would do uh, to an Air that was your primary computer. Um, I believe this machine would work fine if it replaced the keyboard, but replacing the keyboard on these machines is a whole lot of work. You have to take apart the whole machine and take the logic board out and buy a new keyboard. It's about a hundred dollar process to do that. So in the meantime, um, while I debate whether I, I bother to do this or not, um, I've been living with this little piece of log and dust tub. And as you can see, the ridge for the back of the computer is actually higher than where this is. So the computer actually closes completely fine. It closes, the little Apple light goes off, it shuts down um, when I open it up again. Ah. It works, it shuts down, it powers off, it powers on, it does everything it needs to do. It's been reliable and stable, with the exception of not having an F7 key. So if you are having the pop-up problem uh, with your MacBook Air and is driving you crazy and you can't figure out what to do to get your work done and um, continue on your way at least temporarily until you can have your machine looked at, there's your solution. So thanks for watching. I hope that's been helpful. Please comment below if it has. Thanks.